In this segment, I've asked Farrell, a video producer and seasoned EDIUS editor, to help me illustrate some of the key audio tools inside of EDIUS 7. Thank you, Farrell, for joining me here today. Thank you, Alex. It's really exciting for me to tell you about these new features in EDIUS 7. And let's get right into these really effective audio tools over here. In this particular project that I have open, I was working on a two interview case for a customer. Uh, both of the interviews were done in very different rooms, so the levels on the audio are, are quite different. So you really kind of need to get in and uh, maybe you know, tweak a little bit here and there to get, get it sounding the way that you want it. Uh, the first tool I'll use is the pan pot and balance tool. This particular uh, tool is very simple and it uses uh, the left and right channel to uh, basically fade either with gain or pan so that I can change the audio levels for each. In this particular case, the lav mic was really strong and, and sounded really good, so I've boosted that, and then I've also brought the boom mic down so that I'm not hearing quite as much of it. I've used a little bit of a fade so that I'm not you know, getting a, uh, a nullification of any of the audio, and I like the way it's set here, so I'll continue on to my next uh, kind of favorite tool. Uh, this is the parametric equalizer. And the parametric equalizer is probably my favorite of all of these audio tools because I can go over here to the beginning of my clip, hit play, and while I'm listening, I can actively change the levels. So I can change the gain for different frequencies inside of the clip. Now, in this case, again, I've kind of brought the, the lows down because it was a, an echoey room and I don't want it to sound too uh, roomy. I've also brought the highs down because there was a fan noise and that way I've kind of sculpted this audio to a place that I really like it. Once I'm done with that, obviously it'll apply that to the clip. Now I can obviously save these presets and easily put them on other takes that I've done for this particular piece as well. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is a really uh, interesting tool. The audio mixer tool will allow me, as I'm listening to a clip, to place keyframes by simply setting this to the right function. And as I listen, I can ride the fader and actually it will set the audio levels in keyframes based on that for me. So as you can see here, I'm sculpting the audio as I'm listening to it. And I'll hit close on that. And if I zoom in here on my timeline, you can see that we've got all these keyframes. And it's, I mean, it's a brilliant tool as you're going along. You can actually just kind of pick and choose the levels that you need it to be at. Once I'm done with that and I've you know, got my project kind of in a place that I'm happy with it, uh, oftentimes you might not have checked every single clip you know, perfectly. So what I'll use is a nice tool called the uh, loudness meter. Now the loudness meter, once I hit start and play on it, I can simply watch as it's telling me with a graph as well as information and a readout here what my average as well as momentary decibel levels are for these particular clips. Or I can watch it through the entire course of the video that I've produced. Um, you know, as I'm looking at the levels here, I might want to make some adjustments to the clips. And a way to do that in a very uh, quick and efficient way is to use normalize. Now normalize just does as you would think it would do. You can set the level across the entire project or clip by clip basis uh, what you want the audio level to be and it will normalize across that simply hitting OK it will then apply it to everything on my timeline. So basic audio filters are already included in ADS 7 as is a VST plugin bridge for adding third-party audio plugins. One of my favorite plugins is the suite of audio tools from Isotope. As you can see here I've got it already included right here in the bin under audio filters I've got an effects folder and I've got my isotopes here. Thanks to the VST bridge, I have access to the professional tools I need to monitor and make adjustments to my interviews and music tracks. EDIUS also supports importing and exporting projects in AAF for workflows with other audio software such as Pro Tools and Fairlight. When I'm working on a piece that is eventually going to my friends at the sound studio for a five channel mix, I'm very quickly able to export my project and send them my AAF project so that they can work from there. Simply going by here, 
exporting project AAF, I can set the export path and it will make a nice little project that I can give over to them. They'll do the uh, fine tuning on my audio, get that five channel mix really nice for me. Then they'll simply send it back to me. I can re-import that into EDIUS and it will show up right here in my bin. So that's just a quick overview and I highly recommend downloading the free trial and checking out these audio tools for yourself. Thanks, Farrell. And to download the free trial, go to www.grassvalley.com slash edius.